Hey folks, I'm Cynthia Lawson. I'm from Farmerville. I attend Farmville First Assembly of God. And um, I was asked a question. I was asked if I would share how do I think worship changes the atmosphere even if the problem remains the same? And that's a good question. And um, especially right now, as we face this coronavirus and um, things are pretty crazy right now. But you know, scripture tells us that there are many spiritual battles that we're gonna face in our, in our time here on earth. And um, we live in two atmospheres and one being the atmosphere that's physical atmosphere just like right now i'm sitting outside and i hear the birds and i see the wind and i feel the wind blowing and um those are things that are physical and then there's a second the spiritual atmosphere and that is something that we can't see with our natural eye but it's very real and the bible tells us in Ephesians 6, 12, that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this age, and against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. So for instance, have you ever walked into a room and uh, say your mom or dad or uh, an employee and a boss talking and when you walked in that place the tension in the air changed the atmosphere and you could tell whether it was good or bad it's just like this coronavirus that we are facing right now we cannot see it with our natural eye but we can feel the tension that it's causing which causes people to feel fear and anxiety and depression and, and worry and hopelessness. But this is what Ephesians 6.12 is talking about, y'all. It's talking about we are, we're not wrestling with things that we can see, but against things that are in this dark world that we're facing and, and the Bible, you know, it tells us, God warned us, you know, that we're going to face battles, that, that we need to be prepared, Lord. Like in Ephesians 6, 11 tells us, put on our armor of God to be able to withstand against these evil things that are going to come against us. So this is why we must choose the atmosphere of holiness, of praise, of worship, of, of prayer, of love, of hope, of faith. The choices that we choose will be what we will experience here on earth. The Bible tells us that, that God inhabits the praises of his people in Psalms 22, 3. And if, and if the Holy Spirit dwells within inside us as children of God, then we should be an example of an atmosphere of worship. And so during this time, the atmosphere that we need to display is hope and trust and faithfulness and worship and praise and prayer, even if this virus continues and things in our life continues to become worse whether good or bad, we are to trust in the Lord. First Peter 5, 7 tells us that you give all your worries to God for he cares for you. And then as we begin to give all of our worries to God, then we begin to display an atmosphere of worship. The change begins within us to have more hope 
more trust, more faith, more praise, because we recognize the one within us, the Holy Spirit, who is always with us and who will never, ever forsake us. And when that happens, then we begin to ignite a positive atmosphere of change to those that we come in contact with because then they see a reflection of Christ within us that brings about change in the atmosphere for them. And then it gives them hope. And that they see Christ within us. So I thank you for asking me to share um, how worship can change things even though Things remain the same. So as you display that atmosphere of worship, even if things don't change, we know the one that's in control, the one within us. So I thank you for asking me. I, I, I miss y'all. Um, I miss seeing everybody. I can't wait until we're able to unite again. So until then, be safe, be healthy, and God loves you. God bless.